Hello, welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, we're going local to me. In fact, we're going about 12 miles down the road, that way. And we're off to the Black Sheep Brewery. And we have a can of... <sighs> you see my face there? I looked at the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm dreading, I'm, I haven't seen anybody else review this, but I'm, I just looked at the, the, the name of this beer and I thought, fucking hell. Um, I took her the swearing for Christ's sake. Um, boys and girls, <clears throat> we're off to the Black Sheep Pool and we've got a can of their Pineapple Milkshake IPA. Super smashing great, 5.3% ABV, juicy tropical. There's Larry the Lamb. There you go. I call it Larry. There's the back side. 5.3% if you're pregnant. Don't drink it. Because it says here. Uh, it says brewed with fresh pineapple juice, lactose and a touch of vanilla. This is a juicy, juicy tropical and smooth IPA. Denali hops uh, add even more pineapple notes as well as light bitterness to finish. Lightly carbonated and uber juicy. Uber juicy should I say. Um, now this could either be really really good or this could be an absolute car crash of a beer. <laughs> I don't know because I've never seen any, well I've seen people put reviews up but I haven't, I haven't watched them. Because I thought, they did that, I did the limoncello sour a few weeks back and it was fucking awful. So I'm not, I'm not really pff, hopeful on this one but I'll see what it is all about. <laughs> Definitely smells milky lactosey. Yeah, but there was an annoying little smell once I cracked open that ring when I first sniffed it. And it was a little bit cheesy. No word of a lie, it felt a little bit cheesy, it felt a bit. Then it went into the normal milkshakey type of. Well, it does smell like milkshake. I'll be honest. It, it smells milkshake, milkshakey. Whether it's pineapple milkshake, I'm not too sure. I don't go to McDonald's and sniff milkshakes, but it does smell milky, shaky type of thing. So let's whack this in. So yeah, you know, milkshake IPAs or milkshake beers or whatever you want to blinking well call them. Am I a fan of them? Am I a fan of them? When they're done well, I did the, I had the Wonder Beyond one a few weeks ago. That was phenomenal. That was great. When they're done badly, I did. I, I had a bad company one, which I didn't think much of. Um, when they're done badly, they're absolutely terrible. Um, being a glass, got like a deep gold colour. Hardly any carbonation going there. Very clear looking, very clear defined white head on top and again hint of <laughs> milkshake there was a little bit of cheese cheese has got lactose in it of course it'll have a lot of milk and cheese won't it <laughs> there was a slight cheesy whiff <laughs> and i'm not drunk either when i told you that it's just mm. i'm gonna go in you know cheers First off, I get the lactoseness, I get the milkshakiness about it, but you get greeted that as soon as you start drinking it. What you're getting afterwards is like a thin, thin, <laughs> thin beery type of Yeah, it's got like, you're getting a milkshake, you're getting a lactose on the front end, Susan, not lactose, milk, fuck talking about lactose, milkshakey thing. The creamy milkshakey thing, you get that as you, as you start to, to drink it, but then it just thins out in your mouth. And feels like, you'd get the pineapple, yeah, it's there. It, it just does, for me, it's a great idea, all right? First off, we'll say pineapple, we'll say IPA. Yeah, it sounds great. 
but it doesn't feel natural. It doesn't. It feels so synthetic. This to me, it it it, it just does. It just feels. Drinking it, yeah, you get the milkshakey thing. Woohoo! Yeah, it's a bit of a gimmick. It's a bit of a you know something free you get in a cereal box. It it feels that thing, but. Do you get the pineapple? Yeah, you get the pineapple. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, it's great. It, it, it just tastes so great. It, it, it tastes so, you know, um, honest and uh, does it out. On the back end now, I'm getting this not very, nice, very slight bit of aftertaste, which I'm, I'm not too keen on, to be honest. Um, as a one-off, if you want to try it, try it. It, it, it just does nothing for me, to be honest. Which is a shame. I don't like it, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. Boys and girls, I could really, really rip into this, but I'm not because black sheep to me are honest Yorkshire brewer who brew great beers in the traditional sense of a word. And they're trying to kind of like branch out into a crafty type of thing. But for me, when a lot of these big traditional brewers try their little luck with crafty cans and stuff, it never really works for me. They should stick to what they do best, and that's brewing fantastic traditional beers. The crafty stuff, leave it to other people, you know, like Tiny Rebel or, or they are or Vernon, you know, leave it to them. Don't tap into a market which you're gonna fall behind. That's that's my opinion. Would I buy that again? Would I hell? Um, you wanna buy it? Go ahead. Let us know what you think, but for me, it's not very good. And on that score, thank you very much for watching this beer review. I hate to say that about black sheep beer, but there you go. See you boys and girls on my next one. Cheers.